Hey what's going guys, it is me Breaker TV, and today we're gonna be doing a new video. Matter of fact, actually a new series. Yeah guys, let's get into the video. Before we actually get into the video, actually, if you guys are enjoying the content, if you guys are finding yourself watching more than one video, it shows a good sign that you're actually liking the content. So that means that you guys should go and like the video, subscribe, and also comment down in the comment section below. When you subscribe, it'll notify you every time I upload a new video when you click the bell notification. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. So we kind of have to give you guys a little bit of a tour to give you guys a little bit of an understanding of what we are doing here. This is our new realistic series. More Farmer recently has called out everyone and said, hey, we need a new realistic series. And yes, I do have the menu up. Well, I did. I did have the menu up. So we're going to go inside and give you guys a tour of the farm. I bought all and I actually have a loan. So this is going to be the kind of like a save the farm kind of series. So we'll actually show you the loan. So we have a $425,000 loan. So that means we got to get going. So. Let's first of all open this first door and we'll give you guys a little bit of a tour in here. This is our only shed, by the way. So everything's in here. Oh, except our MacDon 35 foot header. So when you walk into either door, you guys kind of get a varying look of our equipment. So in here, if you walk from this way, the first thing you're going to see is our lime green Mac tools uh, toolbox. It's really nice. I love it. It's going to be used a lot in the series. So yeah, right here. Is our John Deere XUV 6865M. Really nice for driving around the farm, really. That's all I can really say. Right here is the John Deere 4240. Before we continue on to the video, actually, um, this is actually Black Sheep Mining. So they just came out with it recently. And if you guys are looking for a tractor, a good um, tractor, if you guys are on console, this is probably the best tractor on console for the US audience right now. Just letting you guys know. Right here is kind of the like fuel truck, kind of, but it's a nice truck at the same time. This is the Chevrolet Silverado 3500. This is Abe Freeston's on Facebook. So if you guys want to go check out Abe Freeston uh, in his work or go check out uh, Berserk Modding's uh, Patreon, you can go check him out. I'll probably put them in the description below. Oh, yeah, by the way, something to note on this truck, by the way, this is a work in progress. This is just released on updates. So it's not going to be fully 100%, you know, what you guys think, like a really mod. It's not finished. So. So letting you guys know. Right here is the Case IH 2388 Axle Flow. Really nice. I love this tractor. I love this combine so much. And then, yep, this is the 4240. This is our planter. The 1990 John Deere planter. Right here is our, what's it called? This is our New Holland 116 disc combine, or hay bind, excuse me. So we actually have a big patch of, we're just going to open these doors here quickly. We'll wait for this. So we kind of have a big patch of grass out here and it's pretty big actually. So uh, we're letting it dry out for a few days, but then we're going to get right back into mowing here pretty soon. But there's some parts like here that need to be fixed. I need to fix some parts like this part. Um, there's some parts down here that need to be fixed because I'm I'm not really the best at, I should have checked over my work twice, but this, this stuff is kind of hard to get. But yeah, we got a big, you know, batch of grass. We're probably going to get, a, we got to we were gonna get a loading wagon recently, but yeah, we're gonna get a loader wagon, load it all up, and sell it to uh, somebody, hopefully, or a company. I don't know. Right here is our 8400 John Deere, Le John Deere. I love this tractor so much. This is our this is our main tractor, really. That tractor is pretty nice, but that's our smaller kind of tractor. This is our big boy tractor. So, yeah. And all right, showed the disc spine right here is our Emmerfirth, uh, Emmerfirth 70. 3755 XL Seed Runner. I uh, actually have seed in it right now. And right here is our 2017 Ford F250 Power Stroke. And right here is our VMware 605M Baler. We were going to bail it this year, but we're probably just going to harvest it. Oh, and out here is our diesel uh, tank. This is our diesel tank to fill up all of our equipment. Let's get inside of our XUVM. We're going to ride down to that other shed you guys possibly saw. So we're just running down here. It looks pretty good. I actually like this setup. Uh, actually, I think I've seen a setup like this IRL. So I was like, I was like, oh, I'll take some, you know, I'll take some, you know, I'll get some motivation from that one. And I just did this. So, yeah. But right here is our, this is where our grants can be stored for now until we get enough money to break this down and actually make it a silo system. So right here is our Brent 644, or two of them actually, two of them with the wide wheels. So it's really nice. Got the wheel right here. Just open that, close that, open that, close that. So yeah, we actually have a pretty good setup so far, but we're just gonna turn this around. We're gonna head back to the farm and we're gonna sh tell you guys what we're doing today. All right, so first of all today, I'm we are hopefully gonna be um, planting our last field. Our last field is actually alfalfa, I believe, or we need to plant our last field with alfalfa. So I'm trying to actually change from a, I think it was a soybean field. I think we're trying to change from a soybean field to an alfalfa field because alfalfa makes quite a bit of money. I'm not even joking. I think I looked down there. I think it was like 180 per ton. That's a lot of money coming through. It's not the biggest field, but if it goes well with us next this year, then we'll definitely do it. Keep doing it. Keep on doing it. So, but we got to swap these out. So let's first of all, get this detached. Get the jack out. Perfect. Let's open this door, this hydraulic door we have here. Let's hop in this 4240. 
Start her up. There we go. Keys. Wow. She's actually running pretty well today. In real life, actually, my farm, I think we, or not my farm, but where I work at, actually, I think we have one of these tractors. I think it's like a 40, 4840 possibly. So that's pretty cool to think about. Yeah, that's awesome to think about, actually. Detached PTO shaft. Oh, we got to lower that first. Let's lower that quickly. Let's actually start to step and lower it. Now we got that all lowered, so we are all ready to go. So let's just uh, hop in here, pull out the old tractor. How many hours we have in this tractor so far? 3.1 hours, so that's, that's actually pretty good for me. So we gotta go over here. We are probably gonna have to empty our seeds, but I, I don't know. I don't think we have any more soybean seeds in there. I think we actually filled up recently with soybean, or with, uh, I think we actually recently filled up with alfalfa, so I think we're good to go on that. So we're just gonna pull ahead here, and we're gonna go check behind there real quickly. And right, I'm checking the seed. Yep, these are red seeds. We are all ready to go. Alright guys, so we got that out finally. So we got it out. Yep, we got the red seeds in there. So we now... We want to refill our stuff up with, uh, what's it called? Fertilizer. So we got to check these quickly and knock on these. Let's see. So we got fill type. 74. This has like 2%. This has like, not not a lot. So I'm just going to grab it. We're going to drag it. Come on. Keep dragging. We got it. Keep dragging. We got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got it. We got it. We got it. Whew. Holy cow, guys. Whew. Jeez. All right. All right. Go, 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 We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Perfect. We're in the right spot. All right, we just gotta get, we got a nozzle right here, and we're just gonna put it in there. We're gonna refill it up. All right, we had to remove it. We had to, uh, replace, not replace. We had to reposition the tractor, but we got it all good. Awesome, so, let's hop inside. Oh, right, we gotta clean this up, actually. We have a lot of, we have a lot of crap to clean up, but let's get this 4240 backed up yeah but this tractor is really nice this is probably the nicest tractor in fs so far in my, in my opinion my overall opinion are those in the uh 8rx and the 9rx and all those this is probably one of the nicest well i should say the nicest old tractor i should say that more than the tractor so let me reposition this quickly perfect there we go shut this gate here and we're just gonna hop inside of here we're gonna get planting boys we got planting to do we're just about done with our fields, so we just gotta get this done, and we are all ready to go. So, hey yeah, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go get this planted, so we'll do a little time lapse in the meantime. So, I'll be back when we are done planting our field. Alright guys, so we just got done with our first section, kind of, I guess you can say our first section, but we don't have that much left to do, really. So I kind of want to check these rows, make sure everything's going alright. I want to check all the hoses, make sure everything's being, you know, actually put down correctly. So the reason why this actually isn't plowed up is because this planter is a direct seed. This ain't a, um, what's it called, planter, this is a seeder. This is a direct seed, you know. So, we really don't have to plow, we don't have to do no-till, so... Yeah, hopefully soon this alfalfa will grow out this summer, and we will we will be able to mow it. But we just have this other part to do. We don't have actually that much to do. We probably only have like three passes tops on that part, but right, that should be all good to go. But this, yeah, this is our last field. So we planted our first two fields with soybeans, and this is going to be our alfalfa field. So we're making some pretty good cash hopefully this first year, hopefully. The fields um, that I. The two fields I actually both planted, those are those were both soybean fields. So, yeah, this field I think was a wheat field, I believe. But again, I don't remember 100. I kind of wish I planted wheat, but again, it would not have been the best idea because when you when you plant wheat, it's the difference between wheat and soybeans. It's like you gotta get it in. Oh crap! My planter's really getting over there. 
when you are planting wheat, you have to get in right as soon as soon as you can, as soon as possible. You can't just dilly dally around. You can't just do this and that before planting it in. So that's why I kind of like my plant soybeans more. Plus, I'd rather wait because it makes. Oh, let's think. I think like wheat makes like uh, like eleven dollars to the bushel. I think soybeans makes like thirteen to fourteen. So I mean, an extra three four bucks per bushel is kind of worth the wait. So might as well, you know. But we're just going to get this all get this all done. Also, a lot of companies do want wheat. I'm not, and in the area we are, we can harvest wheat, but it ain't the best. I mean, I'd rather harvest soybeans than wheat, in my opinion. But yeah, there we go. We are all done planting there, so we are all good to go. We are all good to go. Perfect. Just hold this up now. We're gonna check everything else. We were really running low on liquid fertilizer before we left, so we put some in there, but I don't think that really helped. But it looks like it's all fertilized, so we're all good to go. Let's just hop over this. Perfect. And uh, let's get on to the road. Put on our hazards here. We're going to get ready to go pole out. There we go. Make sure there's no train coming by. Usually the trains come from that way, so we're good to go. But I remember always, okay, as a kid, I remember always uh, running into tractors. Oh, not tractors. Um trains excuse me because where i live there's a lot of train railroad tracks every, there's like railroad tracks everywhere where i live so like it, it's really hard to actually get you know on you know in or get over tr railroad tracks at some point because they just completely are stationary they never really work you know they really never i don't know how to explain it but like when i was a little kid i used to live out in the country and we would always have to cross this railroad track to get home and um i remember it would always not it wouldn't it would always stand there. It would not work. It would not go. It would always stay there. So it was weird. It made me mad at some point. That's how mad I used to get. Like it would make me pretty mad actually. So next year we can actually grow out our uh, what's it called? Let's grow out our uh, farm. Kind of want something like that. Kind of next year, you know. But again, kind of something like that's kind of expensive. I don't want to break down a house just to have a nice little entrance, you know. But again, I mean that'd be kind of cool, but. I am breaking out on my ground just for just spend half a million dollars on nothing really. But that's that's a really cool farm. I do like those guys. Those I think those are the I forgot. I think those are the um, uh, Johnsons. I think I don't remember who, who owns that farm. Oh crap! We're off the road. Sheesh. Yeah, the Johnsons are pretty nice people. They were help. They're actually helping me move in the other day, and they're like, "Yeah, if you ever want to get some work in, you can. If you you have the equipment." Uh, you can probably come over here and help us out a little bit. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll help you guys out sometimes. So and they said, yeah, cool. But, yeah. Hopefully, this sometime this summer, we will have that planted. We have everything fertilized already. So, I mean, we, don't really, we really don't do much else, really, all summer. We can work. But, again, I really don't want to because, you know. But, again, we're going to have to do some jobs, probably. With how much money we have, we're probably going to have to do some jobs. A few, a few jobs. Not like... Not like a, uh, like a lot of jobs, but a few at least. Like a few like good paying jobs. So yeah, let's we'll just back this up. Yeah, hopefully this yeah hopefully this uh, year we will have a good payout on that. Uh, what's it called on that on those two fields? Let's see if those are that's good. Is that good enough? Yeah, that's perfect. Don't know why I just like the wheels being straight. I don't like them being you know backwards. Okay, we gotta back it up just a little bit. Just a little bit more. I pull it. There we go. Perfect. Shut her down. There we go. We are all done for the day. We got our fields planted. Come on, shut the door. Sheesh, come on. Come on, door shut. Door does not want to shut. There we go. Finally. Sheesh. I checked the connections on those wires, but... Alright, guys. I think this is the end of the video here. So, yeah, guys. If you find yourself watching more than one video on my channel... Please hit the subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. It shows that you're actually liking my videos. So so hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Also, go down to the comment section below. Comment down what you guys thought of the video. But rather else, we are all done with today. So yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. And peace out.